At least I'm back soon. That could have been way later than before. Okay. But I don't got the earring. Earring bad. It's one of these days where I have to like I am like soon it's right here. Yeah, we good. My internet was really shitty on the other side of the house. I was like, hmm. Hopefully it's not shitty right here. I could put it in before. I'm like rushing it, so. There we go. There we go. It's one of those things where you have to twist it in. It's kind of cool. I had one that was like pierced and that's like fucking evil in my ear. Then just when I was getting back into Final Fantasy T <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to go. And history. Shit. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> you guys missed me or no? Are you that scared? Mm -hmm. When I was uh -huh. little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. <gasps> but he missed and hit me instead. It was a thunder spell. <laughs> <laughs> I've been scared of lightning ever since. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. My brother said that too. You should learn some spells too. I like teaching Riku some spells. Hmm. Maybe later. It's fun. Nice I think we all know who truly wants to do. Agency. Are you gonna say Omega? Oh. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes for us? <laughs> it's not easy being a guardian to a summoner so young. Damn straight it ain't. You not resting. Go away. Jeez, okay, Kamari. He got nothing to say. Yuna looked preoccupied. Was it because of Jiskel? I wonder what's wrong with Yuna. Oh, well, let's go find her out. I didn't even have to say it, and you knew. You getting cooked. I mean, it's obvious it's Omega. He's the one being so fucking flirty with the chat. Mm -hmm. It's so static you can't hear. Whoa! Pervert! Y yes. Uh, hey, I'm here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh. I, 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 well... It's nothing really. I, it's the I back just, of my fucking uh, head. Um, uh, <laughs> I just wanted to see your boobs. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, <laughs> <hey>. <laughs> Wasn't that that uh, just called Guado guy? Oh no. Fear is his will. It says, take care of my son. <laughs> oh. Yeah, take care of my son. His son? Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. 
I have one way to take care I'm of sorry. him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh oh. Busted. Pervert. Waka, Ray. What do you think you're up to? Yuna was acting funny. Tell us when she's ready, so hold your chocobo. He was like, hell no! I'll live here! I guess I'll take the fuck- I already have a map. Why didn't they give me a map? 99 grenades, please! Hell yeah. No. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, let's sell shit. Um, I don't have shit. It's not stopping, is it? Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! Fine, stay here. All right already. But you didn't have to say it like that, you know. <laughs> You could be more comforting or something. You know, try to cheer me up. You just don't get me at all, do you? Hey, are you listening? <gasps> I'm not scared. I'm not scared, you hear? I'm not scared. I'm gonna flirt with that shadow. Oh, it's that guy again. Uh, hey, get back here, fucking cosplay photographer. You don't ask for permission. <laughs> this is a book. Oh, it's a shield. Okay. And you have that one photographer that takes a picture and like psh, walks away, and you're like. Oh, thanks! Uh, what's your business name? Uh, okay. And the next thing you know, your pictures on the porn sites. And all photoshopped and naked girls' pictures. Ooh, I'll take that. It all goes downhill pretty quickly. They photoshop his body with some naked girl and now he got a naked girl bottle on the internet. <laughs> right? Big man. I told you about that one photographer. I only take pictures for funs. Like, hey, um, you know, you want my card? So, you know, you can send me the pictures. I'll take a Fun! Nah. <laughs> Alrighty then. I mean, you're still gonna post this on Facebook, so. <laughs> I have to know exactly. <laughs> like, shit. Maybe I don't want my picture taken by you, Miss Prissy. Right? You still po he still posts on Facebook. Like, I want to take it for fun. Okay, but can you like, here's my card. Fucking send it to me. Why is that? 
Th that's me. You took a picture of me. I want to see it. What if it get lost? What if you never post it on Facebook? Like, come on, give me something. Throw me a freaking bone here. You know what I mean? Photos is too hard. Not fun. I not said. It's such bullshit. Oh my god. That's why I have to have like the. You, that's why you can't be shy at cons. You gotta be like, hey. So, um, what's your Facebook? What's your. Wh where are you posting this? Because I want this picture. I want to see. Because, like, a lot of times you can't find them. And they get lost or they never post it. There was a guy at the ballroom. He was recording videos. He was. He has this little legit, like, little Instagram photography page, you know. And I'm like, hey, you know, I was the, I was the Shion, um, you know, from the thing. You took pictures of me and my friends. We did a couple of pictures. You, and then I was like, you know, send me some, you know, I was that person. And he's like, yeah, I remember you. And I'm like, yeah. Um, so, you know, <laughs> send me some pictures. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I remember you guys. And then there was nothing in it. Like, let me sh let me show, let me fucking read this. See, on the other end of the spectrum of photographers, you can't be asking too many questions. Then they sometimes be like, why are you getting in my business, creeper? So if they don't say anything, you literally can't send them before they find you. Mm. I'm just like, I want my pictures to be taken. Like, I'm happy. You know, like, uh, you dress up. You're supposed to get pictures taken. Like, you're dressing up. Like, you know, you're bound to get that. You're bound, you're supposed to expect it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you just said, I got you. I was like, hi there. I was Shion at the ballroom dance and was wondering if you could send me the pictures and video you took of me in the Kingdom Hearts group. And all he wrote was, I got you. That's all he sends me. And I was like, I can. <laughs> oh yeah, I got you too, dude. I guess thanks thanks for the joke. Haha, <laughs> yeah, okay, I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. Because I want those pictures and those memories. I wanna remember those memories. It was a fun time. It's weird. A lot of cosplayers act like they just don't give a fuck. Like they don't care if they get pictures taken. Unless it's done by some famous photographer. Really? I don't know. Cause everybody wants to get famous so quick. The cosplay world. It's so easy. You know. You spend so much money. I'm getting a hundred dollar photographer who only sends you like depending on which it's like oh he'll send you maybe like three pictures three edits you know or five photos with like two edits or something and then like wait where am i am i on oh shit i taught her to you oh shit i'm in riku's area oh shit you know She's gonna be my little fucking thief. Oh shit. Oh, you know, I'm so sorry, girl. My baby girl. You don't have to learn Riku shit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, you know. Or like be the girl that sells her bath water. She takes these little sexy videos. Sometimes I make fun of myself when I start to take those videos. And then I have like a ton of blooper videos I don't ever post. I'm just like fixing my teeth. <laughs> and then I'm all cute one second. I'm like, Bleh. looking like, <laughs> like doing it on purpose. Uh, this photo is so dope. Background is fake. It looks fake too. And my butt cheeks look like I actually has a butt cheek now. Yeah, it's like, um, you know, like how the porn girls, like, well, I guess porn's a little, but you know what I mean, like. They're so attractive, and they have these plastic surgery, big titties, and the 
plus the surgery lips and it's just so curvy and perfect and photoshopped and you know they got those little sex videos sex cosplay videos to get more famous and it's like all the pictures are taken by some someone with a really good camera and so or someone really famous or something like that and then they'll they'll take little mini videos of them looking at the camera doing a the stupid chipmunk lead face where they stick their tongue out and they cross their eyes and I just don't I don't think like yeah like I don't think that face it's just always funny to me like I don't think that's a like they're trying to have that sex face but it doesn't look good like I feel like in 10 to 5 years people are gonna like look back on that face and go what the fuck was I thinking making that face yeah you know like I can't do that face without laughing without like thinking oh my god this is fucking this is this face is the retarded chickmunk face where you puff up your cheeks and you're like like that that's how it makes me feel when I do the lead face or the duck face selfie people it might I don't know like yeah, the duck face. When they show their ass, I'm like, I don't know. I think the lead face bothers me more. It's like, ugh. Yeah. Like the duck face thing, I think has died down a bit. I think the only people that do it are like kind of like celebrities and like yo girl kind of attitude. I don't see it so much on the cosplay world though. Why are you sending me eyes? Jaywalk, stop sending me private messages. If you want to write down some shit, you, you send it publicly to where everybody can look at you and judge you, okay? <laughs> Unless that was like an internet delay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, I guess we'll go with Miss Beth. Reminds me of that one cosplay. Oh, a con artist cosplay bot. Oh boy. So, like, mm. she makes some art of, like, her herself, basically. Or do you mean, like, or maybe, yeah, that's, maybe that's what you mean. <gasps> hey! Fucking rude. Just look of life. Hey. Go look. What? Nobody wants you. Well, I want you. But everybody else doesn't want you. Oh, I got a party. Hmm. I don't feel like talking to my friends. It's mean, but like, I don't have anything to say. Okay. No, I don't. Sorry. 
she'll post something and be like, this is me cosplaying as Mama. There is censors. And if you want to see me naked, then buy my Patreon. $500. And people say it's not that at all. Oh, oh, yeah. So, like, <laughs> so you won't, like, get the picture or something? Hmm. Oh, I gotta go back on Lulu. She needs to go back on one of some magic spells. She is way far behind. <sighs> I don't know. Well, I'm sure every girl has, like, the reason. And they just don't, you know, they don't have that, like, voice in their head or, like, they don't have that kind of like, not, I guess not guilt, but like, sometimes I'm just like, how do they do, like, how do they do this, like, I don't know, like, I, it was something I could not do, like, being too, showing off, doing the whole sexual cosplay thing, like, like, to overextend to where it's, like, porn. To- OH MY GOD! <laughs> not here. Not now. <gasps> I'm under level big time. I had a heart attack. Oh my god. No, you get the picture. She ain't Nikki. What? Terrible. Then just call it like a lead or something. Like she's got probably like little tiny cover ups, like she's not completely nude or something. Something dumb. It's just like basically her in a just wearing the cosplay or just in a little short laundry but yeah I, I, I see your point shit um I really wasn't expecting me to die she ugly am I ugly you know how they do, um, that girl, she did, she did this, that uh, bath water girl, she's like, <laughs> Are you that scared? Mm -hmm. When I was little, uh, my brother tried to- I like brother. It. It was a thunder He's really good at Blitzball. Brother's really good at Blitzball. Magic. Oh my god, join the chat! <laughs> no thanks. Nice to see you. Talk to the hand. Ah, I have to do this again. That is good to allow me to present you. Oh. oh. I wonder, would that be Sir Orin by any chance? I forgot to talk to Ren. Nope, wrong guy. Oh, he looks so much like him. Get fucked. Oh yeah, this is like the the game I can't really pick. I used to. Can't skip it, sorry. Oh, that. Right. Really, I I just uh, um, uh, uh, I I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, uh, hey, what? 
Wasn't that that uh, just called Guano guy? <laughs> I don't want to think of you know that way. Stop it. Son. Just too pure. Huh. The only person that can talk pervert about her is me. His son. Nobody else. <laughs> Okay. Well, I know one way to take care of him. <laughs> Too pure now with the base of. Leave her alone. I like Wonka. He's like, he's trying to not get Titus to so all be in love with her. Always try to interrupt her, his shit. And stop touching my pee pee hair. <laughs> it's not stopping, is it? It's not. She's not going to move unless we do something. Okay, push her out. It's stopping, is it? Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Skip it. Oh. Hey, hey, kitty. You didn't have to say it. You could be more. You know, you just don't. Can't skip that part. <laughs> All right, let's go. We get to oh, this guy again. Cheese. Yeah. Looks like a special ingredient over here. I heard that all the fucking time at the convention too. This looks like a great spot for ingredients. <laughs> I'll kill myself over and over. Mm. The whole life is so strong in the cosplay world. Is the comments for? Oh, it's just people coming in. Yeah, I was like, wait, is that the comment? Let's do this shit. Smick. Yes, feed me. Feed me. I don't got anything for this guy. I'm too thundery. But it helps my overdrive a bit. Wait it again. Don't talk about that. I'm gonna be so careful. I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have like three females that are so fucking weak, okay? I'm gonna throw in one guy in there. Alright. Or and protect me. There's strong muscular muscles. Where am I? Oh, now I gotta do all this again. Shit. I feel bad. Ugh. This sucks. But yeah. Go, Yama! Go! If you win, I'll give you a treat. Or don't. I shall play Thunder Plants on Thinking or not. Really? Oh look, he's already fucking dead. Get the fuck out. I'm out. Fucking unimpressed. Eh. 
shit. I don't... Uh, Guys, who do you get along most in your family? Your siblings or your parents? Or your, or your animals. trying to think of more um high school stories because I know yesterday I was talking a lot about some but I felt like there was one I missed yesterday I know my energy was like dying Enough. Enough. that's how it's done Oh, no, that's a, that's a different thing. Mm -mm. No, not something about high school, no. Something else. Something else. You know when you think you kind of know somebody and then they turn around and do something disturbing? <laughs> like, yeah. Hmm. I don't think, uh, like, I'm sure you guys have your dark secrets, huh? No? Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wait, what happened? I just finished the other plan, didn't I? Hey, don't rub it in, I died too. Came out as a furry. That wasn't really surprising though. Um, I'm do furries. Wait a minute. I think I might actually be a furry. Probably all my- You'd be spreading hate just to be in the closet, that's why. I miss Auto Phoenix down. Jesus Christ on a crunch. No, I was just saying like stories and shit, like high school stories, and then like when you think you know a person and then they turn around and do something you don't really expect them to do. Well, good. Don't tell me I don't want to know your shit. <laughs> I just spilled my juice. That's your name. You are juice. Come on. Be high. I should have. Uh, let's get you. Um. Hey, you know what? I can't. I have grant. I have grants. Oh, uh, who wants to? Yeah, you know what? We'll use them again. Because I realize I just feel <laughs> twice. <laughs> what kind of juice was it? I dare ask. I feel like I'm... Ah! I thought it would instantly... Wait, no, it's thunder. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. You had to die for me. Oh, yeah, it's half thunder. Duh. That's why I knew I shouldn't have summoned him. That's only half. Apple. What about... Fuck. 
I feel like I had this conversation once before how, when we talked about like cranberry juice and stuff. Like, what's your favorite juice? People were saying cranberry and all that stuff. Let's get a grenade. And I don't like using these grenades. Protect. Actually, you don't know how some got ability. She got a. Uh, she got protect. Only one protect. Out. Oh shit. Ah. I didn't die. Woo. You see, you see guys? I I'm almost to the save. And I'm not dead yet. It's going great because I'm pretty sure Oh, the same fucking guy. Well, say on because all your stories are super short, so just say a story. Hey Juice, you got a story to share? Share it. You got to share it. I only have this one... I only have this one thing that pops in my head when I was in high school. I cut my hair short. And, um, I think I cut it basically, like, maybe this length, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, like, a bob, kind of, um, fuck, I'm fleeing, fuck this, eh. really? Yeah, because you don't hear your voice, I guess. Unless, I mean, you can add a request. I can do a goofy voice to your story if it feels better. <laughs> Alright, so this guy, let's call him D. So me and a few others have been playing. I've been helping him out over the course of Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, I was saying, I cut my hair real short and I had... That one boyfriend I was talking about that I wasn't really attracted to him, but I was attracted of his friendship or whatever. And I grew to, you know, I kind of grew to like him more and more as the relationship progressed. So I cut my hair short and I went into school and all the all the gamer dudes well not all the gamer dudes just a couple they were like oh you cut your hair and i was just kind of like happy and so i was like yeah i cut my hair and my boyfriend was like mm. <laughs> i was like Oh, don't you like it or something? I don't know what I said. And then one of the guys said, You look like a boy. And I was like, Jeez, thanks guys. So fucking cool, you know? <laughs> Damn. Let's play. So talking through comments can be a little jarring. So, uh, okay, yeah. But one day during the major wreck of the second year. Oh, okay, yeah. Sophia? Everyone, wait. What's up? That's I have fucked up. To tell you. That's really fucked up. We're almost out of here. Let's go. I have to say it now. 
over there. I would have been like, you know what? Well, he's bullying us too. Every <laughs> school such some is shit. Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. What? Uh huh. I've decided to marry. I thought so. <laughs> That shit, dude. But but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future and Yevon's unity. I thought it would be the best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear. Show me. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly yeah, I am out too. sorry, but this is it is a personal matter. Come on, Cat, get on. As you wish. I'm sorry. Just it's, one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't <laughs> care. I mean, you're not going to stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. He won't come up with a bed. But that... Oops, shithole. Uh, Grrr! But I want her. Not Seymour. Luna, Seymour should not have her. Question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? You got to marry him? No. But I think it is the right thing to do. Okay. Yes. You need Shit, yeah. Fuck you, Thunder! I wish we could help somehow. Shut up, Zeus! Some way. Or wait, I'm sorry, Thor. It's okay. Thor. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And hmm. being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Yuna can talk with Seymour there. We guardians will wait until they're done and plan our next move. Understood. Lulu is like, I'll, I'll let him lead now. I'm done leading. Ah! I wish there was like a grenade that can just blow everybody up. I think I forgot to buy grenades. Where I died once. Shit! I mean, she. Yeah, there's that story, and then there was one time, um, well now I'm thinking all these mean stories. Well, I guess the story is a story. One time, I don't give a fuck about Thunder right now. Um, uh, God damn it. Get out of here. Yeah! Gotta go to the blue forest. I'll be right back.
bartender. We're safe. I like how she was the first one. Everybody else is slow. You're worried about Yuna. Hmm. Of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be in exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. What? All by herself? <laughs> She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. <laughs> I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. If she could just tell us. That's the way she is. She's naive, serious to a fault and doesn't ask for help. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. Hey! <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> but I guess she stop. is. Stand by her. Always. Titus is like, <laughs> that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I'm <laughs> telling myself anyway. Macaroni woods. And well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. You know. Yuna, let's Fuck. go. Fuck. You know, you know. <laughs> Orin's like, hmm. Like, ah, what a relief. You don't love him. Thank God I have a chance, though. Basically. Oh, I don't like going in these woods. Let's play Blitzball, guys. Get my ass hammered to me. to see you made it through safely. And if I may, congratulations on your betrothal. The minute I get jet shot is Seymour the minute I fucking win. Take that road to go to Makalania Temple. I'm just gonna hide behind the fucking goalkeeper because there's a glitch. Not glitch, but the bots act crazy. The minute you hide behind a keep goalkeeper. Or whatever. Ah, uh, great. Here comes the enemies. You're wasting our time. Oh, thank God. I didn't turn into a big fucking stone. What can I do? Beat it with a stick. I got water sword, fuck. Do I have prey? Mend us. Oh, prey sucks. I always forget it sucks. I gotta switch this sword out. I'm so fucking cocky. Oh, 
one time, here's one story. Uh, I was wearing, you know, in high school, I never really wear pants. And then I was starting to wear these punk pants to school. And you know how they're like, there's like these punk pants that are like, you know, they're like the red striped. If you like look up plaid punk pat pants, you're like, you'll know what I fucking mean. Um, so th those were the pants I wore like one week and then on the next week after that. And, um, there was these like prissy, there was like these prissy little, uh, they were all, like, there's one that was a goth kind of wannabe girl, and then there was another girl that was like edgy goth punk girl, but they weren't like, uh, um, what next? They didn't really, I guess they didn't really like me. That's why I fucking high school. Um, one of them would make, make fun of me, and like, they would just, they saw me wearing those pants, and I guess they didn't, like, think I would hear them, but as I'm like, in the window, like, they see me, and they don't think I can hear them through the window, I guess. But uh, this girl, the goth girl, she's like, oh my god, her pants are so like freaking overrated and like yeah, like that attitude. And I was like, oh my god, really? And they were just like steadily talking shit about my pants. Like, oh my god. I don't know, I'm thinking, okay, this girl, she changes her fucking name to Salvia. And if you don't know what Salvia is, it's a drug. So this goth girl is telling, is like, Oh, so overrated. Like, go fuck yourself. Do some drugs. Like, I don't care. Like, wow. Like, why was I the target? You know? Jeez. Because I wear whatever I wanted to wear. If I wanted to wear, like, goth dress, I would wear it. And the next day I would wear a different kind of dress. I had, like, a different style every time. Like, I didn't care. I stuck to my own ground and and then like it would make fun of my handwriting. One of the girls made fun of my handwriting. And at the time like I was going through the complicated breakup where he wants to be a dick to me and like cause problems and all this stuff got freaking high school. Yeah, she's a prissy girl. Her mom was a teacher. And her mom was really nice, but she wasn't bright. Like, I don't think she kind of realized how mean her daughter was. You know? And... Like, 
I didn't tell people like I had a learning disability or anything like in high school I probably just told my bo one boyfriend and that was it but they yeah she just started to make fun of my handwriting but she showed it to everybody so like I had to write down a thing cause my ex was harassing me and uh, I don't know he was just kind of being sneaky like he was like hiding behind walls and like waiting for me to like break a rule at the school so he could write it down and then get me in trouble so then I was like you know what fuck you I'll do the same too and then you can see how it feels cause you know, and then I wrote it down, and sh it turns out she was one of the people that was handling the cases, so she had to look at my handwriting, and she had to, like, walk outside and show everybody, and then show me how, like, my handwriting was. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, it was so fucking there was one time where I was in the room and this was my fault and no, I nobody should have gotten in trouble with this and I shouldn't got in trouble with this because I left but uh, in the video game room you're supposed to have a rated R sign on the door and um, I had just left the video game room and I was gonna go watch a movie and if the movie was rated R you would have to have the sign on the door that says there's a rated R movie so I took the sign off and I put it on my door That's how it's done. which I didn't think about it like I I should have just let it stay on the video game door but my ex thought I was still in the video game room so he put me down as forgot sign in the video game room and then all the other boys got in trouble with it so if I did speak if I did speak up and said something I would get more people mad at me and I was just like and it would have been more embarrassing and I was just school was just that was the time of like everything was a nitpick that I did like everything he would find he would try to get me in trouble like no matter what and then then if I say something he was like Oof, that's not a good enough reason to get me in trouble like he would just kind of be like a little baby jerk about it or something and then like Um, I mean, you can still go to that school. You can go visit. Like, you can. You can visit that school. It don't matter. Like, they allow visitors. You just go to the open school thing. Um. Kyo. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, you know, they watched the fucking human centipede at that school, so... Ugh. You know, all this shit. I mean, half of the- actually, all of the little boys were corrupted by the teenagers. But yeah, and then he was, then he got, he finally got in trouble because he was making out with a girl in the closet <laughs> who was my ex-friend. Because when I broke up with him, um, she dated him the next day and had sex and got pregnant and then got an abortion. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, the teachers are like, come to this school. Uh, there's no classes. Um, it's such freedom, hippie fight school. You know, your your kids will be in good hands. Meanwhile, I already know like all the shit the boys are doing. fucking corrupting everything talking about sex humping the fucking furniture like oh my god harassing me big time Let's see. I'm gonna guard I ain't gonna help though I'm gonna help I mean, like, uh, these. I won't go so easy on you next time. My boyfriend, uh, my ex boyfriend, whatever, um, had a carpool with him, and that was like horrible. Even when we broke up, that was fucking horrible. And uh, he was really mean. So then I was really mean, like... Is that chess? What the fuck? Um... Am I taking the wrong way? Or am I going... This is the thing about this fucking map. I think I'm taking the wrong way. I gotta go to the other side. I hate this, because I had all these fucking battles. Like, which way am I going? I'm going this way, because there's a chest open. I think. Oh god. God help me. I'm gonna skip these battles. I'll be right back. But yeah. Like, um... There's a lot of shit. No. No. Live and let live. Rrr. Rrr. I think this is right. I'll be right back. Yeah, I mean they teach the little boy kids sex at the early age and all that shit. dated that kid that motorboated the girl. I only had three boyfriends in high school. You're right. Okay. Uh, first one was the guy I felt sorry for. Second guy was the motorboat guy. Thank you, sir. Third guy I had a lot of interesting boyfriends, I'll be honest. They all have a fucking story, a history. But that motorboat guy... That motorboat guy is the same guy that kissed the guy. So, you got the pieces. Just a kid does not count. I never fucking dated him. No. Never did. No. No thanks. No, not gonna happen. Nope. No. 
Yeah, that's the same guy. Um, let's see, uh, whoa, that was weird. I think I see what happened now. No, he didn't motorboat me, if that's what you're gonna ask. <laughs> no, but, um, when I... I know him from a year. This is how I was planning it. Okay, I liked it him since day one, since he came to the school. And then he got motorboated, so it was like, I guess I'm never gonna see him again because he said he said like he was never gonna come back. He said he knew that people would like fucking harass him about the motorboat story. And he would like everybody to forget, but everybody was like, oh hey, you're that guy that got motorboated. And he fucking hated it for such a long time. Kissed another dude, cause he was sick. Yeah, um... So then, I was like, damn, okay. Um... I was like, I'm gonna wait... I was gonna wait a year. If I still like him within a year, I'll tell him. And we kinda had our own little groupie. It was me, another friend named Sunny, and um... Yeah, I'm sorry! But, okay, my first, my first boyfriend was shit to me. So... I was like, I ain't just gonna go willy-nilly. And I don't want people to like harass me and bully me. And you're just kinda like... I want it to mellow. You know? Because my boyfriend was that kind of person that would just, um... I mean, he was devious. And then he would say, well, I have ADHD, like, after he's mean to me, because then it started to just repeat, like, my mom was like, you don't, no, that's, being, treating people like shit does not give you an excuse to treat my daughter like shit, is what she said to him, I think, one time on a carpool, because he was treating me like shit in front of my mom, and she did not like that at all. And, um... Yeah, he was fucking weird. He can't hold that stuff in. Oh, I know, boys can't. Trust me on that. They got to go. I know, like, I waited a year. And then I was like, well, okay, I'm ready to jump into a relationship now because my ex isn't fucking harassing me as much. And, you know, it's all down, it's all died down low. It's mellowed out. And I have like a cool groupie friend thing with him and, and Sunny. We're like kind of like besties in the group. So I was like, alright, I'll tell him. Uh, it was probably the most awkward thing ever. Uh, like, it was so awkward. It was probably like the second or, f or like third day of school. And, um, there was a woman there. There was a, like a new, like, um, not a new teacher, but like a visitor that was like, writing like a newspaper thing and she was she was German too and I, I think she was gonna like do a class of German? I don't know. It's something like that. So um I see him walking up the stairs. The stairs are fucking long too. It's like long ass stairs because the school's on top of a mountain or something. 
so he he was walking and I was walking up the stairs so we bumped into each other and we were like oh hey I was like oh hey you know how you been oh, well what what's going on whatever we're just like short fucking talk and then um she shuts it. I hope she shuts it. I don't think she will. I think she shut the door. I don't know. Stop fucking killing Titus. Oh my god. I'm getting annoyed. Yeah, kill Wonka. I don't care. <laughs> Got no mana. <laughs> I had to put my story on hold. Holding. <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, um. Anyway. Wait, you did finish the story. You were at school on a mountain. <laughs> okay, at school. Stairs. Making sure top. Okay, so then I was like, hey. Um, I gotta tell you something. It was something. Yeah, I was like, hey, I gotta tell you something. Um, and he was like, oh, what? And I was like, <laughs> I did the most cringiest thing ever. <laughs> I did the weeb flirt. I did the nerd flirt. Oh my god. I did. I just realized I did the nerd flirt. I did the whole... Okay, so I was like, hey, I gotta tell you something. He's like, what? And I was like, um... I took a long pause. <laughs> I was like, um... And then I... I patted his shoulder. I was like, I like you. And then I walked away. <laughs> I walked away so fast. <sighs> and then like, he he froze. It only took him like 10 seconds to like move. He was like, huh? Ugh. But yeah, I'm fucking weak. I only did the shoulder thing. Shoulder thing's better than a nose poking thing, right? What is she doing? I have no fucking idea. She's coming in and out and in and out, and everybody's asleep. Damn, I did that. <laughs> you didn't do that. Oh, that's pretty bad. And then he followed me. And then that's how I got my boyfriend. Let's see. He followed me because then I hid, in, I hid in the room. And I was talking to the German lady. And then he sat there watching me talk to her. And he made the face. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, no. Girls, get all the way. Yeah, I think it works for girls. Sorry guys. I think it works better for girls. Cause we're so cute! <laughs> what am I doing? I have too many like people that are leveled up. I don't even know what to do with them. He likes her and I kiss food. Depends how you do it, I guess. It depends what kind of girl. How do you know she likes you? What are the signs? Does she touch your shoulder? Or does she laugh at all your jokes? <laughs> See, I already have everything down. I mean, what's the 411 here? Do you guys talk all the time? I mean, does she do drugs? What does she do? <laughs> this is what you do. I don't know. Sunglasses and poke. No. Okay. What were her previous relationships? What's your parents are like? Did you meet your parents? What's going on? I mean, this goes on. Where's Quick Hit? That's what he needs to fucking learn. To play video games. <laughs> Shut up! 
Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> to the old lady. Shut up! Shut up! I love how he cried every time I said it. <laughs> but yeah. And then he told me he loved me the next day. And then I knew. And then I realized. Oh. What? Yeah? Sherp! 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 <laughs> then I realized, um, he only likes me for sex, probably. You can't just tell a girl you love her the next day of being in a relationship with her. It doesn't matter if you, like, been with each other for a year. You just, you hold that shit off. Keep it. You hold it off. You know? He wants the fuck. Yeah, like, obviously. Poor Lulu. I fucked her up so bad. Let's see. Mug. No, we don't want that. He wants that me. Yeah. He was sending me some... After a while, he started sending me some weird ass text messages. And they were kind of like... Food porn messages. Like... Um... I was like, I don't even know how to respond to this. Um, it was hella awkward. It was like, it was really awkward. I was like, I don't even know how to respond to this at all. <laughs> it was just like, I was just having a casual talk with him, and then he was like, he messaged me and was like, um, you know, you know what I would, you know what I, he said, what did he say, he said something like, uh, along the lines of like, I would take vanilla ice cream <laughs> and I would put it all over your boobs, something, something about vanilla ice cream and my boobs, <laughs> and I was like, it was so random because we weren't even like, we were even, like, I don't even know. It was weird. Okay, that's my teacher. Whoa, she texted me so fucking late. Hmm. Okay. It was really late. Um. <laughs> it's like, um, no. I think part of the reason, uh, he slowly lost interest. That's what a lot of young teenagers are like. They slowly lose interest if you don't really give them anything. Like, no sex or anything. <laughs> you want to screw on the moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I never sexted with him, no. I just was like, oh, um, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I was like, um, I'll see ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like, I never really, I ignored it, like, whatever. And then what, what got me one time, it freaked me out so much. It scared me. It literally, it literally felt like I might have been in a horror movie. I might have been in a movie, cause like we were, we were at school. We were in the woods because, you know, that's 
where you go to like hang out or whatever you know what I mean and okay I was kissing him in the woods okay I was kissing him nothing bad nothing like we weren't you know I never done it with him so we were kissing and um he was kind of like I guess he was kind of like not forceful but like whatever anyway it was kind of awkward and then like I would look I looked to the side I looked to the side on the ground and I saw something I saw a person and um <laughs> I saw a person and okay the school is in the middle I guess not in the middle of nowhere but it's like it's in the middle of a forest and neighbors are kind of like I mean, they do have neighbors, but they're a little bit far, like hunting woods or something, something like that. But it, this person was not, did not belong at the school. This person wasn't a teacher. He wasn't a student. He was an old man. And oh my God, I, I was like, uh, there's somebody there. There's somebody there. I was like, there's somebody there. There's somebody. I don't know. Like, it freaked me out. And he's like, I didn't see anybody. I'm like, I saw, I saw, he turned away. He like, I saw him like, look, and then like, turn around the minute like I saw him. <laughs> and then I was like, that's so creepy and weird. And it, he, you know, like I could give you details of what he looked like because I remember it because it was like, it was scary. It's like, don't you see him? He's right over there. Like, he's... Like, uh, my boyfriend's just like... Not, not even really giving two shits. Oh, how you want that up. But, um... Holiday prices on all night. It was like, whoa, was he just like watching this whole time? Like, he wasn't like... He wasn't, you know, he wasn't like jerking off to us or anything, but it was like he was wa he was watching, and he was an old dude. He had like glasses and like I don't know what the fuck he was doing, cause he didn't belong. Like he, he didn't belong in the school little woods. Like I don't know, it was weird. I was fucking freaky. And then I was like, well shit, we should leave because I don't want to be a dumb teenager making out with a boyfriend in the woods and then I get killed because that's like exactly how these movies go. And I'm like, alright, we're going, we're leaving. I'm not gonna fuck this shit. I'm not gonna upset the movie loss. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. And then I think. about this um, first strike first strike's pretty good um watermelon let's do that Don't do it. No. But I'm safe. I was a virgin back then, so. I don't know. I was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I was kind of safe ish. Just making out okay, kind of. You know, in the screen of <laughs> I'll go with these prices for a while. Welcome. Yes. I want all of it. I don't know what I have Um, the next day, we we went back in the woods with another one of my one of one of my friends. But it's kind of funny. Like, uh, this person did my first 
boyfriend, he was one of the boys that would like mess with me. But he was just the guy that would laugh. Then like when all those boys disappeared, he kind of did his own thing. And he was like laid back to me and chill and like friendly, which is really, you know. Um, so we were, we were in the woods. I was saying, like, yeah, there was this boy guy. <laughs> what? But nobody would really, like, oh, they were like, well, whatever, you know. And I'm like, it was so creepy. Something you should see. Like, but, and then, um, I found, I tripped over something. I tripped over something. And again, the horror, the flashback horror began. We were walking the woods, I tripped on something. And then I look down and I see like it looks like a foot. Like it looks like a foot. And it, I just had to like quickly I didn't look at it like all the way. I just I saw a glimpse of it and I got up real quick and I was I jumped up and I was like freaking out with like, Oh my god, what what is that? What is that? It's a foot, it's a foot and um and then they come over and they look at it and they like um he took a stick and he lifted up and it was a deer foot it was a, a cut up little hooves a long leg hoof and I have a picture of it still like on Facebook when we went to the woods so I had my camera with me and yeah, that was really fucking weird. It was just one foot. And we couldn't find anything else besides the foot. And it was really weird. Like, uh, was he throwing animal parts? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Was he throwing animal parts? And then he saw me and my boyfriend? Like, yeah. <laughs> so that happened. And then we went and we. Um. Oh. And then he thought he was funny and he took the leg while people were playing capture the flag. So he took the deer leg, he ran out into the field, and he started shouting. What was he shouting? He's like. It's a dead body! Or he started shouting like, It's dead body! It's a foot! Like he was trying to scare all the people playing capture the flag. So he's just running around with a stick with a deer leg on it. And everybody kind of stopped. <laughs> everybody kind of stopped and we're looking at it. Um. Yeah. So then the next day. The next day. We had, we went again to the woods. Like, you know, the groupie. We went to the woods groupie. Um, then, uh, it was weird. We were like, we were like, wonder if there's more pieces around. And so we were kind of like looking around just cause we were killing time. Couldn't find anything. And then we're like, all right, there's nothing here. It was just some random foot we found in the woods. And then I saw it again. Only me. I don't know how, like, I'm the only one that sees this shit, but nobody else can. So, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. I kind of jumped again because it's, it is scary when you, like, see it for, like, the first glance. It's another fucking foot in the woods. And it's like far away from the other foot. It wasn't like nearby or anything. And I'm like, why is he just like putting it right now here, and then one over here, one over here? He's thinking like, oh, these teenagers are they're gonna have such a fun time finding all these foots, right? <laughs> so we buried the foots, and then they made a sign for the deer foot, and they put in victim one on it. Sir Orin. And then we buried it. 
It's like, uh, what are we supposed to do with the foot? I guess we could bury it. This thing's killing my earring. Yeah, I have pictures. You don't believe me? You don't fucking believe me? Why would I lie about that? Okay? Why would I lie that I was in the woods with my boyfriend and like saw a creepy guy and we saw deer feet like this place it's just water isn't it this is what spheres are made of do you want me to show you a picture just say it I'll, I'll show a picture just say it I don't see Okay, let's see. A picture. It was really random. And it was really random that that guy was there. Let's see. I have to go to my school album. Pictures. Albums. So, could be in this album. Let's see. It's gotta be in this one. It's all coming back. Okay, here's when we're at the woods. Okay. Well, here's the sign. Here's the sign. Hold on. Here's the sign we made for the deer. It's victim one. Well, you know what? I'll just send it to you on Messenger. Hold on. I don't even see your Twitch thing. There's that sign. And then... Okay, I'll, I'll send you this message. I really have to look deep in my high school albums. And then it's like, oh god, I remember all this shit. <laughs> Jeez. Oh come on, it has to be in this album. Or this album? Okay, this one? Well, there's a dead bird I took a picture of. Oh, maybe it's in this one. It's gotta be in this one. Oh shit, what the fuck is this? Tape? Oh, that's the cubby. Okay, well, there's that picture. So you have to, you have to believe me now. Okay. I think I posted the deer leg, as not in an album, but in the fucking timeline. So I might have to like, 
I mean, unless you are patient enough, unless you could wait. If you want to wait, I could dig through my timeline pictures. It's going to take forever. Um, yeah, but that victim one was the, that was the sign we made for the deer lakes. So we had that. It absorbs Kay. and preserves people's memories. <laughs> Fiends are also attracted to these places. I'm probably gonna die a lot on this boss. Just saying. Pineapple's pretty good. I think you missed the chat though. Yeah, I accidentally like left and then it went back. Oh no, I healed! Alright, because it's under thunder. I gotta switch out. Yeah. Yeah. I can always kill him later. Um, I'm trying to think of another thing. Take this. Magic break, yes. about that shift. So I got disconnected again. What the hell? My internet's wonky. Oh, it's so wonky. T T T T. Um
like this one time where, um, people were, me and my one friend, huh? Oh, nah. Um, I teased for test, in case you didn't know. But, you know, it's okay. Um, where I made a Sims family, and it had my teachers in it, because my friends would be like, oh, do this teacher, and make this teacher in the Sims, so it's like, okay. And then I had a couple students, I had the girl that motorboated my boyfriend in there, and I made her, like, had these long cheeks, and these long boobies, I just made her deformed, and... And I had my teacher in there. For some reason, he liked kidnapping babies. So, there was like this whole running joke where he just like loves kids so much he has to kidnap them. <laughs> like, I don't know if it was the time I was dating him or was it before I was dating him. It was one of those. No, it wasn't awkward. It wasn't awkward at all. I was kind of, I was kind of friends with her. But I felt bad for her, but then I was like, no, you're too fucking crazy. Cause um, shit, I'm not doing so good. Die, die, you worm. But. One time she had like this breakdown. She was crying and she was like, nobody likes me and I don't have any friends here. And then one of the guys overheard her and was like, that's because you keep being so fucking crazy. <laughs> like, oh shit. That was in Sims, it was in Sims. He was connecting little babies in Sims. It's like nobody like you're you're crazy. Like all you do is talk about writing fa fanfics about us and like all this stuff. Water, let's do thunder. Oh crap, I don't even know... I don't even know what fucking element it is right now, and I just guessed. I just did thunder. Like a dumbass. I'm so used to attack reels, not fucking element reels. Ah! There's a baby in there, you asshole! I guess I'll heal. I never want to. But yeah. I guess it's water now? Oh god, never mind. It's fire. Oh god. It absorbs all spells except its one weakness. Is that a counter? It is countering. <laughs> the motorboat girl left the school. She wasn't doing so good. She got a s suspended. She got suspended, I think, for like a day. Um. She like hit a kid with a fucking Japanese doll.
And like she didn't show up. She didn't show up to like the meeting, so they're like, we're gonna suspend her. <sighs> She's like, Kirsten, why don't you ever talk to me on Gaia Online? Do like, um, I do talk to you. Like, yeah, but you, um, Kirsten, you know. Uh, emo. I don't know. We were talking about, like, something came up, which was like. Def she was, like, talking about emos. And she was, like. Some guys were in the room and they were talking, and there she was, like. Um. Emos. Something, like. What was it? Uh. Specifically a Japanese doll. It was one of these dolls. I have one. She had the expensive one. She had like the she had like a million dollar one. Like at least it cost like a thousand or two thousand dollar doll. And I had a ch cheapo, cheap ass one. Like she had the legit one. They're fucking heavy. So she's kind of like whacked them on the head with it and then she was like she would just talk random stuff like she would just she was so like open for like a 13 year old girl you know yeah like um oh hey how you doing thanks for coming in Um, so he's doing fire, so let's do this one. Oh, cool. Thanks. Um, I just took my earring down though. It's kinda giving me a tug. Um, alrighty, see ya. It is. I love it. But yeah, um, it's hitting water, so I do thunder. Yeah, probably. It's like really positive, and um, I kind of have like a banner. But what she, one time she said that, oh, you know, even if I was pregnant, I would have sex. Should I nuke it? I'll do it. I mean, if he's not in the, if he's not in the chat anymore, I guess he can just nuke it. But she would just say random shit. One time my uh, teacher got on Omegle. Do you guys know what Omegle is? That was like the shit back in the day. Okay. You know, we, t we talk to strangers. And shit. And for some reason, it would turn into like this whole hobby at high school. Um, just chatting with strangers. Um, my teacher got on there, and I love this teacher. Um, but my friend, my uh, my friend hated him. Well, not hated him, but like. He was the nerd teacher, and he was pretty chill, and I voted him into working in the school. And he was just like, I don't see the point. I mean, I don't see the point in him. And I was like, okay, like, he was really a prissy friend I had. 
Um, but he was on a meagle and he was chatting with this one guy from Brazil. And they were like, age, sex, location, ASL. So my teacher, <laughs> my teacher pretended to be a female lady. Um, <laughs> the guy wasn't really good at English. The guy wasn't really good at English. So my teacher was like, okay, I'm going to hint that I'm a man. But it's going to be sly. It's going to be like, you know, sly in. So... He gave the guy a couple of hints that he was a dude, um, but the guy was bad at English, he didn't know, he didn't understand. So, <laughs> I love this teacher, um, so he was like, um, you know, uh, he's like, uh, you know, you very hot girl, and he was like, yeah, I'm very hot girl. <laughs> it was just so funny, like, um. We go, what's what do you look like? What do you look like? And um it sounds Russian not Brazil. What do you look like? And he, my teacher Googles uh he Googles Asian hot Asian girl or hot whatever. He just picked up a, like a Google image and and then the guy was like, Okay, this is what I look like <laughs> He he posts a picture and it's him in a Batman mask. And my teacher's like, Whoa, you must be really into Batman. Winky face, you must be really into Batman. And he's like, yes, I, I love Batman. <laughs> and my teacher was like, oh man, I, I love dressing up as Batwoman and blah, blah, blah. And you know, I could dress up for you, winky face. Um, but you should know, <laughs> he's all like, this is how he put this up, <laughs> like, with the Batman mask, with the little, tee -tee -tee on top of his head, leather, he's like, I'm into leather, and I like, I like, kiki leather sex, and all of that, he's like, I'll dress up as Batman for you, he's like, yeah, I love that, yes. You can give me sex while wearing Batman. <laughs> Something like that. And my teacher was like, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, but, um, what did he, he wrote something. He gave him a hand. He was like, um, yeah. But, uh, I gotta, like, um, you know, I will, I will. It was something like, yes, uh. He was so bad at English, or maybe he didn't, like, read it, but it was, like, something obvious. It was, like, I don't know, like, um, oh, yeah, I have to shave my man leg hair or something. Or I have to, like, <laughs> oh, yes, my beard and something, something. But he was bad at English, and he didn't understand, so he kept, like, talking all horny talk about the whole Batman thing. He was so into, like, Batman. And like, so then my teacher was like, oh yes, and then you can scratch my balls. <laughs> like you try to get it more obvious, like I'm a dude, I'm a dude. And oh my god, all the kids, well some of the teenagers in the room, including me, were watching this play out and we were kind of laughing. Like, oh my god, this is like so fucking... We were telling him what to say. Some of us were telling him what to say. You know. And then, uh... <laughs> then finally he came out and he was like, oh, Wait, wait a minute. What do you, what do you mean? Volsack? <laughs> what do you, what do you mean Volsack? <laughs> and he's like, Oh yeah. You know, I'm a dude. And the man goes, uh, what? Disconnect from chat. <laughs> Disconnected from chat. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I do not want a uh, man sex. No, I'm not gay. I'm not homo. No. <laughs> oh my god. It was funny. Uh, um, and then there was another one. 
And then I, this time he was like, all right, I'm going to play it. He, he, he was going to do another girl. And I'm like, oh, this. And then I was telling him what to say. Like, I don't know. We just had like a lot of fucking Omegle stories for like a couple, like for a week. Everybody was on Omegle trolling people. Fucks <laughs> with the incidents, right? Like, damn. I was just. Like, ah. The teacher was cool. And, like, fucking teenagers had to, like, ruin him. Um. My ex boyfriend. The shitty one, um, well, they're all shitty. But, you know, the first one who tried to have, like, an excuse to be mean, um, they were following him around. They were following my teacher around the school. And it was over something so stupid. Like, they were purposely trying to get him mad to get him in trouble. It's a law that you can't, like, it's a rule that you can't yell at the students. But they were, like, following him around, and they were purposely doing this. And they were saying something like, uh, what was it? Like, they were like, um, come on, man. Like, you know, um, you know, you, it was just, it was just twisted in a way, like, what the fuck was it about? It was ridiculous. And he was like, you know, guys, just like, I don't even want to talk about it. Is what he was saying. He was like, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to, like, you know. He was like, and my ex was, like, being a dick. And he was just, like, falling around with another friend being a dick. <laughs> like, come on. You know what? Like, just being all tough and macho. Um. <laughs> well, you know, like, you can't. Um. Just really starting to stir the pot at him. And so they followed them around for like 30 minutes or so. So yeah, my teacher did snap. He was like, guys, he just raised his voice. It wasn't like a yell yell. Well, I guess not like a scream, you know, he was just raising his voice and telling them to stop or like, I don't. You know, that kind of thing, and they got him in trouble for doing that. They're like, yeah, I feel very victimized. Uh, like, that's my ex. He was just like a real big baby. And freaking spoiled. His, his mom was really whack, too. Um, it was weird. He was really weird. They were just like, oh, like, fucking hell. That teacher was really cool and chill. Like, why are you causing problems for him? <laughs> like, damn. That teacher would, like, he would take video. He was the kind of teacher that would take, like, you know, videos. If you were working on a video project, he would help you make movies. And he would help you make music. And he would help you with all those kind of things. Oh yeah, that's cool, dude. But yeah. It's <laughs> uh, gross. Whoa, this is old. Don't know if you can play it back. Jack. Left it here ten years ago. <sighs> Play it back. What are you taking? Well, you said it was going to be a long trip. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? <laughs> so I thought I'd record it all in this. To show to my wife and kid, you know. This is no pleasure cruise. Hey, Braska. Ain't this supposed to be a grand occasion? 
Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? This is it. Too many goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. If you say so. Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin. go. Day will break soon. Oren, could you stand closer to him? Yeah. I hate this guy. <laughs> Good. That should do it. What's the matter? Afraid I might bite. Jacked. Braska. You should take one, too. It'll make a great gift for little Yuna. I suppose. Lord Braska, we shouldn't be wasting our time like this. What's the hurry, man? Uh, let me tell you what the hurry is. Oren. What's the point? He wasn't on some pleasure cruise. I think there's more. Hey, if you're sitting there watching this, it means you're stuck in Spira like me. You might not know when you'll get back home, but you better not be crying. Although I guess I'd understand. But you know what? There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Remember, you're my son. And, well, uh, <laughs> never mind, I'm no good at these things. Did you view? Anyways, I believe in you. Be good. Goodbye. He sounded almost serious, but it was too late. He was serious. Jack had already accepted his fate. His fate? Jack T. He was always talking about going home to Xanarkand. That's why he took all those pictures. To show them to you when he returned. But as he journeyed with us, and came to understand Spira and Braska's resolve, it happened gradually. But Jack changed. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against Sin. So then, he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he knew there was no way back home. Back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right! Let's go, guys. Maybe I had to start accepting my own fate. I gotta collect them all. Gotta collect them all. Jet spears. Wait. Eh. Yeah. Jet loved you. Come. <laughs> oh, come on, please. Do you? just didn't know how to express it. He said. Enough about my old man, okay? I just thought you should know. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thanks. <sighs> no more save? Well, the save went away. Because it knows. Ah. Hi there. Would you look at this? They always.
always leave me behind. Hmm. Oh, you want me to scratch you? There. Good boy. Hmm. <laughs> How'd you know what it wanted? Uh, I've always been able to tell how chocobos feel. Maybe I'd make a better chocobo breeder than chocobo knight, huh? Hey, what job do you see me doing? Yeah, I think so too. Hmm, you know, I might just give it a try. Should I resign my commission? Would Captain Lucille let me? Elma would probably laugh at me. <laughs> Poor guy. I can't write anything without Chogo! <laughs> I remember. No, no! I can't have a farm without any Chocobos! Hmm? Don't forget to smile, remember? You're right. I'll try and remember. Oh. Anything can happen. Make sure you're prepared, right? Eh, I didn't want to rest. I should have had the homeless hobo as an option. What? I just thought that. What do we have? We don't have anything good. I want better equipment. Like, I have all this money, but I want better, like, things. Ooh, grenade. How did I get my edge? Seriously? A wedding's not supposed to make people feel this bad, huh? Come <laughs> on, don't say that. <laughs> uh, I say what I want, ever since I was a kid. Oh, so you're an adult now? You know it. You're a big boy, Walker. Can we go now? I'm tired of waiting. Yuna's really quiet. It's all that thing. Uh, I guess I could level y'all up. Um. Yeah, like, um, about the teacher and the kidnapping babies kind of thing, the sims, um, I, I did leave school for a butt because my sister had a baby, and when I got back, um, you know, the baby was really tiny, and, you know, you know, cute, and the teacher that was like, oh, oh, you know, talking to my mom, he's like, oh, let me see the baby, and then, like, oh, man, the joke came back, because he got all excited for the baby, so the joke came back that, oh, he's trying to kidnap your sister's baby, <laughs> like, I thought, oh, God, no, because he was all like, oh, I want to see the baby. But yeah, every time in The Sims, he would take the baby and like run into the other room. He just kept like running through the house with babies and like getting all like worked up and stuff. This sim was weird.
1258, yeah. Lady Yuna, oh, we've been expecting you. We were surprised you decided to come so soon. Pleasantly surprised, of course. <laughs> Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. Milady? I want to keep journeying. Even if I marry, do you think that Maester Seymour would let me? But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Uh, goodbye. No! Well, we must follow grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here. No, as guardians, it's like... No, we get to stay with Nina. We get the fuck out. <laughs> We're not much guardians. We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. Sorry. That was your line. Rip. Yuna. <laughs> yes, sir. Hmm. <laughs> God damn it. Hey! That's cheating. I don't want fiends. That won't go so easy on you next time. That's ridiculous. Go back. Stand back. Thank you. Lady Yuna. I know I gotta fucking fight. Eh? That's my brother. Brother's so good on Blitzball. He's the best boy of all, and he's the best character of all from Physicers. <laughs> <laughs> Once you reach 10 2, you'll understand why. Gonna no Aeon until this little shit over here dies. Oh, no, it's so weird. Uh. So this part counts. Like, the whole, uh, Special cutscenes after this. Die. You know, you can use magic and call aeons now. Alrighty. Oh god. Save save Yuna for last. I know what's gonna happen.
Yep. That'll happen. Yep. That'll happen too. Jesus Christ. What? A Jesus Ryan? Sugar butt? Gonna do shields. I double dog, triple dog, Darian. Uh. A Jesus run? Not sugar butt? I'll come up with one soon. I don't I don't know what you mean. Okay. I try not to kill it, like not yet. I want it to like switch my teammates out before that should happen. Tiny heart. That's all I got. That's all I got for my other cat. It's not really much of a line. Um. Fat boy. Jealous. He jealous. I'm 
I'm okay. You done goofed. It's too late. You tried to do the Jesus run, but it got hit by Chibi. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, okay. She's got a zipper. Um, I don't know. Oh, what else do I call my cat? Um, what's wrong, One Eye? Huh? One Eye? My little cripple? I don't got anything. Oh, I'm a little crippled. Damn, I'm weak. Big time. Is he crying over there? There he is. Just in case. Stop crying! This is really weak. Oh god. Excuse me. Um, yeah. My rams aren't much with my cats. It's just like, oh, fat boy. But I need to wait until I got it. Stop crying! This is gonna... this might overkill it. What? It might not. It's actually not that weak against fire. Uh, don't you love having dogs? Dig dogs, dig dogs. It's only this cat that does it. And I know it's either something's wrong. He's hungry. And uh, that's it. He's hungry. It's most of the time it's he's hungry. But he's so fat. He don't need to eat all day. No, he don't. Come here, Kyo. Come. Come here. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm gonna try to keep Gorn and Waka in the party before this guy dies. Like, um. behind my mirror and playing like little shit games at each other, okay? Just stop it. <sighs> We're so hyper right now. Eh! Eh! He, it's funny because the fat cat will try to jump on top of her and she's like super long but super skinny. So he's trying to like fucking dominate that shit. But he can't. Like, at the same time, he can't fight because he's so fat. So the other thing he can do is sit on her. <laughs> and it's me. It's so mean. Let's do one go. It's almost dead. Assault! See? You've broken the law. I'm so fucking weak. Keo! Oh no, where's my keys? Okay, I could get a special cutscene. One I have not seen before. Let's see, because it all depends on who you have a party at the end of this boss, I think. Get fucked, Kamari. Oh, 
I will tell father. I told him I was a guardian. Well, guess I had to, really. How come you speak out bad? No. <gasps> Why? Uh, well, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm all bad. And that was my brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell me? We knew you'd be upset. This is great. <laughs> I can't believe I've been traveling with an Albert I even. Racist. You're wrong. We have nothing against the other. But you Albert used to forbid him mocking him. You know what that means? Sin was born because people use mocking. <laughs> you got proof? Show me proof. It's in Yevon's teaching. Well, not that you know. <laughs> That's not good enough. Yevon says this. Yevon says that. Can't you think for yourself? Yeah. Well, you tell me. Where did sin come from, huh? I... I don't know. <laughs> you badmouth Yevon, and that's all you can come up with. But... That doesn't mean you should do whatever they say without thinking. Nothing will ever change that way. Nothing has to change. You want sin to keep coming back? There might be a way to stop it, you know? Sin will be gone once we atone for our past mistakes. When? How? If we keep faith in Yevon's teachings, it will be gone one day. <laughs> Why do I even bother? <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with religious people. Yes. We're not using that, are we? Wait. So Aron is an Albert too, is he? <laughs> Come on, Waka. What? I mean... Getting angry just because you found out Riku's an Albed. You guys got along fine till now, didn't you? That's different. I mean... Well, I don't claim to know that much about Spira. And I probably know even less about the Albed, but... I know Riku's a good person. She's just Riku. Hmm. Just think of this as an opportunity to learn more about the Albed. <laughs> get fucked. Let him go. Give him time to think. Sorry. Sorry. I've done nothing to apologize for. All right, let's ride. You sure you know how to drive this? Better than Kamari does. He only knows is Anakin. Oh, great! I get to be Lulu. I shouldn't have talked to her so much. That was my mistake. Damn it. I ruined Lulu too much. God damn I it. hope that you're not too mad at Waka. Hey, not at all. I always go for the mills. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I like mills. Say, what do you think of Riku? Me? She's fun to be with. <laughs> that all? Well. I can tell she's not a bad person. Yeah. You know what the problem is? <laughs> yeah. She's just another Albed to Waka. Waka's head is as hard as a rock. I bet it's because of Yevon. Or, you know, something like that. Well, there's more to it than that. Waka doesn't like the Albed because of his brother, Chapu. Oh! He used a Machina weapon, right? And... Got killed by sin. Killed by my old man. Damn you, Jack. Damn you. What? What? No, nothing. Hey, can someone like a human become sin ever? I can't say that I know. But why? Just a thought. Sin is the punishment for and the incarnation of crimes we have committed. So, no one really knows what it is. There's no need to know, so no one asks. You run or you fight. That is really all you can do. There's no sense brooding over it. What, that's all? I mean, you don't even wonder? You really do come from a world where there is no sin, like you say. 
You'd think Lulu would hear him. Yeah. I don't know, it could have been all the fucking wind and all the ice and all the shit that got in the way. I do like the Riku cutscene. That's like the I think that's popular too, getting a Riku. But alas, I flirted with Lulu too much. Way too much. Just by talking. What the fuck is going on? I gotta like well, I do have to go anyway. I'll probably stop after this. Yeah. Halt! The likes of her are not welcome in this hallowed place. She is a guardian. An all bed Cats. guardian? Preposterous. I've decided to be Yuna's guardian now. Okay. And that's all I want. And that's all one needs to be a guardian. Very well. Oh, it's making those snap effects. Are they like biting each other or oh, shit? There you are. Ugh. Mr. Seymour and Lady Yuna. Ugh. I couldn't be happier even if it was my own wedding. Yuck. Now victims of sin will have something to be joyful about. Yeah, I guess so. You're not happy? Nah, it's complicated. I love her. <laughs> Say, um, do you know where Yuna is? I believe she's gone to the Cloister of Trials with Maester Seymour. Let's take a peek at Yuna's porn video. What I am about to tell you is the unclouded truth. I swear it on my honor as a Guado. Listen to me very carefully, for I shall tell you the truth about my son Seymour. His mind is closed even to me, a maester of Yevon. But I can feel flames of darkness burning in his heart. He is using Yevon, the Guado, and even the Summoners. If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. I will leave this world soon, killed by my own son. But I do not fault him. Because I was not wise enough, he has suffered and become twisted. I could not protect him and his mother from the world and its cruelty. I will accept death as punishment for my deeds. But whoever is watching this, I implore you to stop, Seymour. Stop. My son. Wonderful. <laughs> Will you be all right? Without us, no. Where you going? You saw it, didn't you? Seymour's bad news. <laughs> but he's a maester. Uh, fine. Stay here if you want. Come on, Waka. Let's at least hear him out. This can't be happening. <laughs> no, not my religion. What time is that? 1.23. I think it's time for me to like hit the hay. Hooray for Maester Seymour's wedding! <laughs> I 
while here, Lady Hune is still going to continue her journey, huh? I wonder if that means she and Maester Seymour will fight Sin together. Just like Lady Yuneleska and Lord Zeon. Hell no. I'm the guardian here. you guys I have to like recope with things I mean I can only wear this so much before I start to my energy crashes so I'll see ya later bye